Tyler, how are you going no. this morning? No shaking hands today. Um, but uh, here we are out at uh, Queensland Raceway. Yep. What's going on? Oh, we're out here for morning mayhem, of course. I can hear plenty of cars out there on track already. Yeah. Um, but this is the race cars because, you know, we're actually at the end. Yeah, we always are. <laughs> we're at the end, but we're going to take you back because... We're going to do uh, some movie magic and, and let's go on the track. Well, but what did we do today? Hang on, let's quickly. I went for a run with uh, Glenno. Yep. Uh, we'll, we'll see that. I'll be in the, in, with Glenno in the uh, Shelby. Yep. Uh, and I went with Steve in the HZ uh, Boosted, HZ yep. LS. Uh, what did you do? I went with Dave in the Supercharged SS, and then I went with Josh in his WRX, which you might see a little bit later. And then we got a few interviews, so stick around and watch it. All yep. right, we'll jump to that now. Yep, let's do it.
Josh, how are you going, mate? Good buddy yourself. Coronavirus, we can't shake hands, That's I believe. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, mate, you've been out there running in the car. How'd yeah. it go today? Yeah, good. Had a couple of good runs out there with my mate in his golf bar. Yeah. A bit, a bit of fun, a bit of a grudge <laughs> match there. Um, a few other little chops, it was pretty good. Got chopped, gave some chops. You took Tyler out for a run as well? Yeah, yeah, I think he, I think he enjoyed it, I hope. <laughs> Did you make him hold on? I don't know, you'll have to ask him. I think, I think he would have at some point. Now tell us a little bit about it, mate. Look, and you've got an Instagram page for this car and all, don't you? Really? Yeah, I do. So, yeah. The Instagram page is at that silverwx.com. And um, basically, yeah, I bought it a couple of years ago and um, put a built 2.1 litre stroker in it, some E85, a turbo to match, and sitting around the horsepower roughly area yeah so it's a quite a lot of fun in a little car like this yeah so, now you get yeah. out to a fair few track days with it as well so don't you yeah definitely love it yeah it's what i built it for weekend fun car and doing mountain runs stuff like that so and has it been good reliable power for you as well 100 percent. since i got the tune from next up it's just been awesome like yeah insane i've ha haven't had an issue at all so definitely recommend those guys 100 percent, mate 100 yeah. percent and JRM putting all the mechanical work in as well. Yeah. Always looking after the car, like top two, notch. Two so. very good shops, JRM 100%. and Next Up. So yep. yeah, definitely. Highly recommend, for that. sure. And um, mate, uh, what did you have before this? Where did, where did your passion start? Uh, the old boy, I guess. He had a VS Club Sport when I was a lot younger. Then yep. the um, older brother got a VL5 litre. Yeah. And then me being a bit younger in the Japanese era coming around, I wanted these sort of cars. So I had a um, Subaru Liberty RS Turbo, a 92 model. Yeah put an STI motor in that in six speed and that was pretty good for back in the day. Yeah. And um, had a bit of a break away from it and then once I moved up here, because the track, um, yeah, got the bug again. Yeah. So. Now, now you're just about out here for every one of these, I think, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't miss too many? That's it, mate. Better to keep it on the track than the street, I guess. And E85, is it full-time E85? Full-time E85, yep. never had an issue. It's probably been full-time E85 for probably two and a half, three years now. Yep. Not a no issues, so. Yeah. Seems to be going strong still. Do you have to carry a Jerry in there as well, though? Like? Uh, depending how far I go, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. You get used to that, E85 life, That's it, life, that's it. That's it. Uh, well, brilliant, thanks for uh, coming on, and, and we've, we've been following your car for a while. Yeah, so, thanks, uh, I'll follow you guys too, it's yeah. awesome, awesome content, mate. It's yeah, good. thank you, thank you, and I, I reckon uh, Tyler had a ball there today. Awesome. He, he would have been pretty keen getting out there in this, so, and um, yeah, dealing no up some chops to yep. the golfs, wasn't it? That's it. <laughs> so we might have a chat to him as well. Yeah, and, no uh, worries, Check out mate. that car that you're chopping. Sweet ass. He, he might tell it the other way. Yeah, he's going to tell it the other way for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Cheers, See you, mate. Thanks, mate. Hey Mitch, good to see you, mate. Uh, coronavirus. We, hang on, we got to. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. So, Can't talk to each just, other. You know, keep everyone happy. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> mate, we're here with the Subi, another yep. Subi. But uh, mate, this thing is looking on point. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we're very happy with it. It's only just sort of all come together after a few uh, issues, just with clutch issues and cart at six F for so long, kind of things dry out. So we had power steering pumps, had to replace that, had to replace the master cylinder because of the O rings dried out. So. So it was a project in the making, this thing? Yes, it was. Well, I, I brought it originally off someone who had already built it, but it was um, broken. Basically, the motor, the heart was gone. Yeah. So we had to tear it completely down and start again. Right. Basically, so yeah, and yeah, so um, taken to Robin at Performance Motorsports up there at Slacks Creek, and um, yeah, he built me a phenomenal motor. I'm very happy. It's 
couldn't ask for anything better. It literally just drives perfect, standard, amazing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, so what uh, what turbine stuff we've got sitting on? Uh, six four six six precision. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then everything. So two point five liter closed deck, um, JHH racing heads. Pretty much everything you can do to it has been it's done. done oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, CP pistons, everything. Yeah. Everything you can do to it's been done, yeah. And um, getting the power down? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's only on uh, about 29, 30 pound at the moment. Um, we don't really want to push it too much. I, I, I built it to last. I didn't build it to break hearts and break numbers. I, I want to just a but it's good... good numbers there, right? Yes. Yeah, it's about just under 650 horsepower at the wheels. Yeah, so that's pretty impressive. It puts it down well. Um, but it, it, drivability wise, it's I can get in it, drive down the shops in it, still running the stock six speed. Is it a weekend car or a daily? It's a weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like to cruise I've, it. Uh, yeah, I've got a company car, so I drive it to the gym every now and again, and I drive it on the weekends. But it is built just to be a street car. Yeah, yeah. I build it to be as as easy to drive on the street as it possibly can, but still look good and and drive fast. <laughs> and Mitch, is this your first performance car that you've had? Nah. Like this you've had a few. This about is... my fifteenth SDI. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> um, yeah, I've had VF GDSs. I've had yeah, I've had Range Rovers. I've had Mercedes, AMGs. I just keep coming back to them. I love the noise. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the parts and the crew, like the, everyone around you, it's just so much easier to build one when you got mates that know so much about them um, and the boys at GC Auto look after me all the time with tuning and stuff like that and my mate works for them as well and he always comes and touches everything up for me whenever I have a problem so it's just oh, good to good. have a car that is so easily I can just fix anything that's wrong with it. It yeah. plays up, it's just an hour drive up to me mate, he touches it up, I'm back home, it's it costs me nothing. So yeah. I, uh, every time I go out of it and go back to a Euro or something I get bored. Yeah, there you uh, go. And that's why I only drive it on weekends as much as I can because I get too bored and I start wanting to do start bigger this, bigger change. that. Yeah, and yeah. at the moment the package is, I'm very happy. It's a perfect package. Yeah. And I just want to leave it like that and we'll try and leave it like that. Yeah. We'll see what happens. You can never, <laughs> never say never, hey. Turbo brakes, I might go bigger. We're always thinking about the Garrett side of things and maybe a 3584. Yeah. But I don't want to go a bigger rear. I just don't want to loop. But they are quite good, but I'm just worried about lag. And I didn't build it to be laggy. I built it to be punchy. And at the moment, it's great. And how did you go out on the track today? Great. The car performed perfectly. Yep. Had a few catch can issues last time as well. It was blowing by a little bit too much because inside the catch can, there's no, we don't have any baffles in it. Right. Um, so I had a lot of, and obviously with the filters they are pointing out, so I had a lot of um, under braking it was coming out. Yeah. Not a drop. Yeah. Yep, all fixed. So okay. very happy good. with that. Now the car... Couldn't be any more happy. I think drove perfect. Yeah, and then did you hand out a few chops out there today? Yeah, there were some good cars out there. I had a great couple of runs with Josh's uh, Rex 201, and um, yeah, a few Euros. And um, don't be shy, that Evo. He's that's a monster. Yeah, <laughs> he's 700 he, odd horsepower. He, 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 he was some good. Chops back. He got me. Yeah, he's, <laughs> that's quick. But um, yeah, those Evos, man, they they run around 40 pound boost. They're just too good. Yeah, but that's them. I like them and. I love it. I love any car. I'm happy to be chopped. I don't bother me at all. It's all part of it, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. I'm not here. I'm not here to. You can never beat If I get beaten, I love it. Yeah, you can never beat everyone. I'm not here. I'm not here to be a wanker. I'm here to just have fun. But it's good fun. That's right. Yep. And, that's and what, the, car, the car. I just want the car to drive home, start tomorrow, and be exactly how it is. And it does. Two more questions for you. Go for it. What started the passion in cars? I don't know. My pop. Yeah. So my pop had a factory. So when I was younger, my pop had about seven Jags. Yeah. Yeah, oh, like everything, E-types, oh, Mark IVs, Mark Fives, yeah, everything. He had nice. every Jag under the sun. So growing up with him and being around all the Jags, I kind of grew a passion, even though Jags are slow and boring. <laughs> yeah. You hate me saying that, and they leak oil. Um, they, it's, it, the passion started there, so I was always working on cars there, and then I started having a few um, P-platers, and you know what P-platers like? You crash cars, you do dumb shit, you break shit. Yeah. My pop always helped me, and then um, I lost my license drink driving when I was 18 and stupid. Um, and so we painted my, one of my utes, I had a ute, so, and it got hail damage in one of the real bad hailstorms. So yep. we painted it ourselves, and, and that's where it started. I realised, I, I I realized, this, this is myself. fun, I like yeah. this. And then I started getting into the show scene, so I did the full show scene in Sydney, I used to live in Sydney, before Queen Street, so I had the sponsored car with Queen Street and all the oh, okay, yeah. package and the audio sponsors and all that. Um, so I did that for a couple of years, and then I um, and then that that died. Obviously, Sexpec just faded out, and yep. then I moved up here and yeah, found a good group of mates that love it, and got a few big Subarus hidden away that are still happening at the moment. But yeah, obviously with families and stuff, it's hard to get them out, and we still got one at the moment we're finishing. So yeah, it's 
Well, the passion know. just never dies. The older I get, the worse I get, I think. The well, more money you get, the more power you want. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, uh, for the last question, yep. what was the first car you ever had? First car I ever had was a Ford Laser wagon, and it had mixed match guards. So the front of it was, the car was blue, um, and the front of it was grey. So the front guard was grey and the bonnet was grey, and still to this day, probably one of my favourite cars. Because I surfed, really? surfed like a fanatic when I was a kid. Yep. So the, the Ford you wagon, it in. although I used to love it. It just got me to the beach and back, cost nothing in fuel. So the passion wasn't there when I had that. It was when I sold that and brought the you because I went through the mini truck phase. Yep. That was where the passion started when I, when I started like, yeah, shaving the ute and painting it with my pop and that's where it grew. But the Ford, I loved it. There Lasted me a couple of years, cost me a thousand bucks. My pop paid for it, I just paid him off a hundred bucks a week. <laughs> loved it. So yeah, pop. My pop's my problem. I'm gonna blame him for my addiction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. That's so, good. We all gotta start somewhere yeah, but, and it's great to have that. Yeah, I it's you gotta have a passion, man. You do. If you don't have this, what do you got? Like yeah. I don't go out, I don't party, like I just yeah. I just Live for got, it. gotta Live, have something. Have your mates this is my fun and the wife's happy for me to have this fun. She hates when car parts rock up at the door, but that's life. But we love it so much. <laughs> Every don't time we? she Open sends me a photo, what's this? Oh, nothing. Just nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's but, exciting time. Yeah, I try and hide them. Just park, just hide it behind the car or something. <laughs> but the post guys usually just leave it at the front door and screw me over. But yeah, it's, it'll never fade. I don't think it'll ever go away. Mate, don't let and it I can't go. get away from the Subarus. I keep going and I just keep coming back. All right, well, we'll keep watching you out there. Yeah, I'll be out. We? I'll be. Yeah, um, next is a strip. The car's oh, ready okay, for the well, drags now. Yeah, well, hopefully so we'll come and check that out as just well. Just waiting for Nate's Evo. He's got built auto getting put in, and um, yeah, hopefully he'll hit the nines and go out there and see what mine can do. Wow. I'll be happy with a high ten if if not. Well, that's it. Well, hopefully we can capture that as well. Yeah, so we're going to head out probably about July time. We're hoping he'll be ready, and we're going to head out there and just see what happens. Now that the clutch is ready and the car's running. Maybe squeeze a bit more pound out of it. We'll see how we go when we get it back on the dyno in um, colder weather. Might be able to man. squeeze a bit more out of it, but for I'm, now, I'm, no, it's, it's, it's done. I'm sure now that you've mentioned that, everyone will be keen to see it. So Hopefully, we'll, yeah, we'll stay have to tuned. Bring it. We'll see what happens. Unless it's a shocking quarter mile time, then we'll hide it, but yeah. <laughs> All good. I just hope that I can get it off the line good enough. Yeah, set up. we haven't set up launch control yet, so once I get that set up, I'll go and do some testing and see how, see how it goes. goes. And yeah. I'm hoping, yeah, maybe a mid 10 if I can, but. Oh, fingers crossed. I know, it's a it's lot good of. numbers. Yeah, that's, that's the game. Yeah. 10, high 10, I'll be out anything in the 10s. Yeah, and then hopefully Nate will get the nine and we'll be we'll be stoked. So awesome. Well, thanks for telling no, us your story no, today. Can't do it. Yep, oh yeah, sorry, yep. that's right. Appreciate <laughs> that, Mitch. Yeah. Good to keep reminding me. I know. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Watch that virus and thanks, check out guys. that SDI. Thanks, guys. <laughs>good to see you mate we've got your golf here we've, sure got, to, we've got to talk about this now actually coronavirus we can't shake hands hang on <laughs> yep yeah, this way yeah. Yeah, yeah there we go all right so um mate the golf how did it go today uh, it was pretty good um it was what we expected and it was good fun to get out there and show some of the subarus what we um what we can do because yeah we, do we have to correct this because josh was saying that he chopped this a lot ah. today <laughs> So, was it the other way around? Oh, it depends where you're looking at it. I mean, <laughs> he, he definitely has a very quick car, but we were like this and this the whole way. So, it just depends who gets on it first and all the conditions matter. We had ob a few obviously issues. a bit of fun banter. Yeah, exactly. It's been banter for the last 6 to 12 months, I think. So, <laughs> yeah. it's good to finally get out here and try and beat one another, even, even if it is just a little bit of a gap between each other. Yeah. So, mate, how long have you had it? Uh, about 12 months now. Yep. Yeah. And have you done a bit to it? Yeah, look, it's not, not crazy. It's got a bigger turbo on it, but 
it's just intake, turbo, intercooler, just your basic bolt-ons. Yep. Um, and then just a tune from the boys at E-Tuners and they know what they're doing. It's a responsive car and it's good fun on the street and on the track. Yeah, okay. And um, and it holds its own out there, of course. It, yes. Yeah. I think a lot of people are surprised to come out here now and see it's how quick the yeah. golfs are. Yeah, the golfs are definitely stepping their game up and people are starting to realise how quick you can make them with yep. a little amount of work to them. Um, but it's still, there's still obviously big contenders out there that you just can't compete with. Yeah. Big V8 boys and the six cylinders is very hard. It's But, but for, it's, for what it is. For what it is, it's great. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now, it's got launch control and so sort of, obviously yep. no good for a track day like this. No, you, yeah. But they've got all those mod cons yeah. and stuff too, don't they? So you're going to try it on the quarter as well? Yeah, we went to the quarter before upgrading the turbo and it was pretty good. Yep. Um, we ran an 11.8. Wow. So we're hoping to see the low 11s with a this bigger turbo on it now. That's um, excellent. Obviously the launch control is just helps it so much. Yeah. There's no no comparison really between a manual car and similar power like Josh's. It's just such a big difference purely because of the transmission and the launch control. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, have you had any other cars before this one that you've done a bit of work to? <laughs> I have. I actually came from a couple of Subarus. Ah, so, so you're a, the converted. Yes, you're, I'm you're the converted. The, or, or the, the yeah. defecto. So it depends which a, way we look um, at it. Had a blob eye STI, well, it's WX with the STI conversion done on it, and um, upgraded, slowly progressed up to a Focus Mark III RS, and then ended up in this um, just purely because I love the package of it and it just drives amazing on the street. The missus can get in it any day of the week and just drive it, and it just works for her, and I can jump in it and fang around and have my fun without breaking anything. So this is your daily as well? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. How good is that? Yeah, have an 11 great. second daily. Yeah, that's not it's bad. Good. Not many cars, can and nobody would look at you either. Miles. So you know, really, it's just yeah. it's just another car no, cruising past. It's just a basic old man's car. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> until it gets going, mate. They're very impressive. Now, um, where did your passion in cars start? What, what kicked oh, you off? I don't know. Probably in school, to be honest with you. Yeah. Growing up, um, obviously. Was it that Fast and Furious sort of era? Yeah, and everyone I mean, as well? yeah. That starts it, but originally you, you want to get into things like motorbikes and dirt bikes and depending where you live you're not allowed to have them that sort of thing mm -hmm. and then you're naturally as you start getting your license turn to cars and you go wow this is something i can modify and have some fun in yeah get out there just enjoy yourself and spend some money and the best thing is the money you put into it you always see the reward like you spend an extra thousand dollars on this and that and you modify it and you play with it and every day you drive that car you notice it and you can feel it and it's it's good fun yeah now what was your first car uh subaru forester Ah, oh, Subaru Forester with some WX wheels and some chop springs. <laughs> they, they, they mod up real well. Oh, yeah. The, not a bad starting point, but it's fun. At the end of the day, it's what gets you into it. Yeah. So cheap, fun run around, throw 100 bucks at it here and there, second hand parts, and just get into it and have some fun as a kid. Ah, cool, Jordan. And thanks for coming and telling us the story right. about the golf. No worries at all. Nah, well, hang on, uh, we can't do that. Yeah, we'll, there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, right, other way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we got it. That's coronavirus approved. Mate, thank you. <laughs> no worries. Cheers, bud. Thank you very much. How good was that? Mate. What a day. Well, it was good fun. I hope you enjoyed it. There is so much fun out there on track. You've got to get out to these events. Um, there's four of these on a year. This is the first one for 2020 with high octane. Yep. Uh, get out to Queensland Raceways and check out all the stuff that you can do. It's not just with uh, with high octane. There's lots of others as well. Yeah. Uh, lots of different ones. And yeah, just so much you can get out of here and do. Mm. So uh, yeah, what do you reckon? What yeah. was your favourite part of the day? Oh, the WRX. It's awesome. It's so <laughs> much fun. Of course, the old Holden out there with Steve, and that thing, that thing hammers. Mm. So, uh, great stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah, and, and well, how about we throw up another Morning Mayhem video on the end here, and you guys should go and click on our link down in the description. Go to the website www.overtakinglane.com.au. Check, check, check out all our the, car products. Check yeah. out the merch as well. Have yeah, a and the car be seen car in products. the car scene. If you want to be seen in the car scene, get one of these. Some new shirts coming soon, so you better get one of these ones. Yeah. And um, and check out the car products we got on there. Find the car products are absolutely amazing. Highly recommended. So we'll see you in the next one. Stay in the rocket lane. <laughs>